Hey guys, we're going to take a break from cartoon characters and do an Earth Day drawing. It is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, so we've been celebrating Earth Day for 50 years. And Earth Day is kind of a way to remember um, how amazing Earth is and how we want to protect it. So when you do your drawing, kind of think of those. I'm going to give you um, kind of one idea for an Earth Day drawing, but you can draw whatever you want and then submit it to Art Sonia under Earth Day inspired drawing. So um, if you want to do something completely different related to Earth Day than what I draw here, then go for it. I'd love to see what you come up with. But I'm going to give you one idea here. Let me just get my camera pulled up. All right, so for this art day drawing, we're going to start with just a very simple um, Earth, essentially. So if you need something around to trace, um, go for it. Circles are kind of hard to draw perfect. So if you need to trace, find something to trace. Um, otherwise, just draw light um, until you get it right, okay? Draw light until you get it right. Um, you can do short lines at a time, so it's easier than trying to do the whole line at once. We want this a circle. Um, okay, so once you have your circle, um, we're going to draw the continents inside of it. So the shapes of um, the countries and land masses that are on our planet. Now you do not have to be super particular here. Um, you could just draw shapes wherever you want them. They are going to be kind of curvy around the edges. They're not going to be like um, super straight lines or like super pointy or anything like that. So I'm just going to draw in some. So this one kind of curved out and then down. This one's towards the bottom, up and then back over in the sky. And I'm gonna do one more kind of up here. It's gonna stick out, be a little wavy and just go right back in. Um, these are not exactly how it looks, but that's fine. Everyone will get the idea, especially once we add color, the blue of the water, and then the color of the ground. So um, what you're gonna do for this drawing, and of course, once again, you could change it up depending on what you prefer. And if you're following what I do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around the earth and you're going to draw different things that you love about Earth or that you would want to protect about Earth. Um, so things like trees. So I'm draw a tree in here real fast. Um, Things like flowers. Okay. Um, <clears throat> things like people who are important to you. And you can make these as realistic or not realistic as you'd like. They are your drawings. If you want to get super detailed, get super detailed. If you don't want to be that detailed, that's fine. Don't be that detailed. Um. Let's see, um, things like animals. So um, maybe there are certain animals that you uh, really like, enjoy, would want to protect. So maybe that's what you're going to draw.
just wait a bit. I'm really sure you guys can hardly see. <laughs> Um, and you're just going to keep turning your paper, adding things that um, you want to include. Maybe you want to do little plants. Maybe you want to do a specific type of plant or tree, a specific animal. Try to think of things that are important here on earth that you want to take care of. Um, so maybe like quail. Splashes like it splashed everywhere. Um, maybe maybe a glacier, which like a giant piece of ice. I'm not sure how to draw it. Um, I'm even do another tree. Maybe this time we make a small tree. So whatever you want, you're just gonna go all the way around your earth, drawing things that are important um, that you want to protect. And then once you're done, feel free to color. Um, I'm gonna trace at least part of mine in. Uh, pen so you can actually see it a little bit better um, and if you start with pencil you can do that trace with um, pen or marker after you are finished so you can see all those lines really good Um, and feel free to add other details, right? If you want to add bark lines to your trees, if you want to add maybe fruits or birds in your tree or whatever you draw, add as many details as you want to make these pictures beautiful and representative of what you like about Earth. Get my little person because I don't really like it, so I'm gonna put something else there after. So actually, maybe next to the vamp the panda, it would be nice to have like maybe bamboo.
All right, so um, that kind of gives you some idea. Once again, you can kind of add whatever you want to these drawings. Um, if you'd rather not draw, you could always add words, um, but just create something about Earth Day and why Earth is important to you, why you like it, and why you want to protect it. And that is it. Tomorrow we'll get back to our um, little cartoon character. Thanks, guys, and happy birthday.